Me too. <laughs> All right, excellent. So we are here to celebrate uh, the wonderful Jen McLean. Um, she has accomplished her official one sale a day, which in one sale a day club, we call that an OSAD. Okay, it's actually should be oh happy, but it's an oh sad. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, so Jen, on today's call, I'm gonna I want to find out more about you. Okay, what was what what life was like? You know, pre like Kelly Kelly McCausa pre DC. Um, what you're up to? Want to hear what you do? And um, what's changed for you? What it's like now? And I'm one. I want you to share some insights with the group on um, what you believe has contributed so much to your to your amazing success. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't you share, like, who are you? What do you do? Okay, Jen McLean. Uh, I live in Calgary, and I'm a mortgage broker. I've been doing this for about three and a half years, and uh, used to be in nonprofit working in the charitable sector, and uh, decided to make the switch, yeah, in 2017, and be my own boss, kind of. Awesome. <laughs> um Kind of. Tell, tell, the, <laughs> tell us about the uh, nonprofit sector. How long were you in that? And uh, share yeah, about that. yeah, I did that for ten years, and um, you know it was good work. Um, you know, I, I was in fund development, which is kind of like a nonprofit way of saying I was in sales. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, don't say that word at nonprofit, though. Yeah, you can't say that. But it was yeah, it was basically the same thing. Um, in fact, I would say anyone that's working in nonprofit should probably join OSAD. <laughs> <laughs> and what Jen means by OSAD is one sale a day club. One sale a day club. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, so I did that for about 10 years, um, but I, I really started to feel that I was kind of pushing the limits of how far I could go there and um, felt I was destined for something bigger. So I did decided to join my friend Darcy and become a mortgage broker on his team. I love it. So that was in 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So you and I met in 2020 in the spring yes. of 2020. So tell me what it was like from 2017 to the spring of 2020. Bring tell us what what was shaken in in Jen's world. Yeah. I mean those three years were full of a lot of learning and growth because I was didn't have any background in that kind of work so yeah it was it was tough I'd say mm -hmm. grueling even at times <laughs> <laughs> okay um, and yeah but but really fun like I love the work so much I love working with clients I like helping people uh, and I got to help people in a different way than I might have been doing back in my other career. Right. So you've uh, always so had a desire to serve. You've always had a had a giving, giving heart. Totally. Yes. Yeah, that's really obvious. I knew that when I first met you, you had a giving heart. And um, mm -hmm. I personally know Darcy, too. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, Darcy's just such a wonderful guy. So there's no question you weren't having a good time and a grueling time along him, beside him. Yeah, we've always had a good time. Yeah, he's but such sometimes a grueling good time. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd say as a salesperson, I, until I met you, I was a bit aimless. Like I was, you know, connecting well with clients, um, doing a good job, uh, working really, really hard, and always, always stressed out about money. <laughs> cash flow <laughs> okay so you and i met in the spring of 2020 tell us about our first uh encounter together and um yeah i took your goal achiever workshop in i think it was june was the first one i did okay and that was great but i did not call you after that it took a second goal achiever workshop for me to actually book a call with you to actually book oh, how come you didn't book right away you what, what um that? well according to you i was scared of you <laughs> but I no i was I was. It. yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to keep those <laughs> uh yeah i was i was scared um yeah i was scared i maybe yeah i was scared it's not quite ready not, not ready quite ready no nah. um 
Yeah, and I, and I want to talk about that a little bit because there is a time and the time comes for all of us. And I think as salespeople, you know, we, we have to become specialists, especially a master salesperson, which you're turning yourself into. Um, mm. We have to find, we have to know, is this, the, is this me or is this them? Or am I, you know, there's a fine little line there. And um, anybody in sales, hopefully you're, you know what I'm talking about, but there's a fine line between like, yeah, like, am I letting this person off the hook? Or are they actually ready? And I would I would assume that you've probably begun to really truly identify that desire level in that person and to meet them where they're at. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm? Yeah, talking? I do absolutely. Yeah, uh, it's an intuition thing, I think. It's an intuition thing, and it's an awareness thing, and you just awareness. sort of know it's a desire thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing. I went into I went into your second goal achiever workshop already knowing that I was going to call you after and start something. Right. Um, yeah. So what was that call like? Uh, what was that call that you and I did? What was that like? Do you remember our sales call or? Yeah, I think I think I remember most of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It was uh, you know we talked a lot about the old Jen McLean and how it was time to kind of leave her, leave her in the past. And, um, you know, just talked about what it was that I want. What, do, what do I want? And, uh, what, and where was I, what was I getting? <laughs> <Presently. laughs> the um, two were very different. I want to share some with you. I personally have loved both Jen McLean's. Okay. Uh, it's a great gal. Great gal. But she had to go. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So what's what ha what's um what happened from when you got into one sale a day club and what was your journey like up till today? What's what did you see? What did you overcome? And what did you what what happened for you? Yeah, I think um, it's been uh, the most uh, well. It's been there's been some bumps, but it has been an exceptional amount of growth. Um, like hard to even kind of put into words how much I've, right. how much I've changed and grown, but, uh, it hasn't always been pretty <laughs> or smooth <laughs> awareness, growing awareness actually can be kind of painful. So I've discovered, but uh, <laughs> it's super worth it. I say, uh, I say a quote sometimes that the only thing that'll knock you out of your ignorance is suffering. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no more coasting for this lady no no more coasting so you're saying that yeah. you know during the time that we're because we we've been working on now for seven months we're coming into our seventh month now and yeah. um so you've had a lot of you've had some ups and downs in those in that time um mm -hmm. but i want to give you credit uh, i want to pump your tires here for a sec um you want to talk about persistence this woman is in possession of persistence and you want to talk about willingness. Um, she has willingness. Even at some points when she's not ready, I think that that willingness factor always um, overpowers that readiness. And uh, I think you should be really proud of yourself for um, acquiring those attributes because those two attributes, willingness and persistence and, per and willing to persist, uh, even mm -hmm. in the face of dark times or dark night of the soul or whatever we want to say, <laughs> Um, which if anybody wants to hit big heights, I'll tell you, you will go through it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You will go through it. I've gone through it. I still go through it. Yeah. You know, and, um, it's that willingness and persistence every time that has personally got me through, um, a lot of my, and at the end, in a lot of ways, a lot of my own SHIT. Mm -hmm. So I think you should give yourself a pat on the back. I think you should be really proud and, uh, never lose those attributes because with those two, you, you will, it will never stop growing. You will never stop living an amazing life ever. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think it could go back. I don't think you can. No, you can't undo awareness, unfortunately. No, you can't. No, you can't do it, unfortunately. You, you open the door a little bit. Once the light's in, it's very hard to turn your back. You can't unsee it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so you accomplished your OSAD. So you pulled it off. So you had ups and downs, seven months, ups and downs, persistence, willingness, hard times, good times. I'm sure there was blood, sweat, and tears. Um, all, of all of it, the whole thing. 
um, but you did it. So tell us what you believe has like led up to that. So, yeah. Um, well, I mean, a complete and utter lifestyle change, um, <laughs> to be <laughs> brief. Uh, yeah, I, I've changed, I've literally changed everything about myself. So, um, I would say the, the three big things have been, you know, I've learned to relax. I came into this program really high anxiety, like a lifetime of anxiety and depression kind of come going in and out of that. Mm. And um, so always living in that state of kind of high anxiety survival mode. And for the first time in my life, I am not experiencing that now. I'd say for the last four months, it's completely gone. So I'm living in this this state of relaxation and calm. And that has allowed me to become more creative. And, mm -hmm. and that's when you're calm and relaxed, that's when all of that, that's when creation happens and that's when you grow. So that's been a huge, I'd say the biggest piece for me is just letting go of all of that worry and doubt and fear. And, um, I remember talking to you kind of mid pro like I maybe a couple months in and I was feeling really stressed out about everything and, and feeling a lot of worry and doubt. And you just kind of coached me through it. And it was after that point, I, I really yeah. kind of understood that I don't have to live in that state. That's um, a decision I can make. And I did, I made a decision. Yeah. That's amazing. And uh, I remember it very well. I remember that time. I even had I think even like the call itself, the coach call wasn't even, it was just like, oh, I just, oh. it's like when you're like, well, what? And it's just like, well, I don't know. <laughs> it, was, it was a confusion. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> just like, well, I don't know. What, how am I going to help this? Like, how, how are we going to come at this? And um, <laughs> I remember it. And uh, yeah. that is, that is the moment that like, if we get real, I think that is the moment that, that changed your life, that you, pers that you went through that. And yeah. out of the disorder came a lot of order for you. Yeah. It's always yeah. right on the edge. I'm telling you, it's, and it never ends like that. And um, don't forget, I always say like, I know you, I know you, I, I know this is the process. I know there's this weird little thing happens. I get very confused, but I used to get so emotionally involved in it that I lived on a hamster wheel. And when you yeah. begin to be able to, I know you, I know that you can have ease every day and peace. That's right. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's almost like, it's almost like standing outside of yourself and being able to observe you in your own environment and, uh, and just see that it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just so amazing what the weird things it takes to make a sale a day. <laughs> life transformation that's all it takes <laughs> that's it that's it um what, what, would, what would be this so the first one is you relaxing and ease what, what would be the second one um my habits i changed my habits i was in the habit of reacting to everything and doing a lot of spinning in circles and no no kind of well no order as you said there was no order and so I created habits to, to create order in my, my own life, um, you know, and some of them are, are physical, mechanical habits, but most of them are just habits going on in my own mind. And I think that I, I believe that as a result of that, I create order for my clients now. Very quick. Because I'm, I'm coming from an ordered place myself. Yeah, very quick. When you say order, I'm going to put you on the spot here for a couple of things here. So uh, the first one is when you say order, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, I kind of, I kind of see it as the opposite of like chaos. Confusion. Confusion. Yes. So yeah. would you say prior to one sale day that you had much more disorder in your life? Yeah. In your person. Yeah. And then therefore it reflected outside. Yeah. How, yeah. I, how could it not? Man, like I'm telling you, I used to have anxiety too. Okay. Um, and I suffered with it and it, it's terrible. It's no yeah. joke. And um, 
it's like a, it's like this it's like a corrosive little acid that just eats your it eats your life i know it's terrible yeah, you know it's really um, bad. so what i want to i want to get i want you to i want you to give me two little habits of mind that you began to shift okay um what's, what's well that? visualization okay that's something i do every day now and um and uh, auto suggestion. So just like repeti repetition of thought, affirmations. That is, those are two things that I do all every day. I, I start my day doing that. That like, is the first thing I do in the morning and it's the last thing I do at night. And then I kind of throw it in the middle throughout the day as well. But it's always, <clears throat> and I even notice that when I'm talking to friends or family that I'm affirming things even then. Right. Just the way that I communicate with people, I'm just affirming that stuff. So it is, it's happening all day, kind of all day, every day. So you're, you're like, you habitually are visualizing and auto-suggesting all the time. It's not even this, you might've put effort in, but it's a habit, like you habitually do it. Now it just, yeah, now it just is a habit. It's, I've done it enough now that it, it's just in there. Beautiful. Okay, so your second one is habits and you found that your habits have created order. So you used to be involved in habits that created disorder. Yes, I loved those. <laughs> <laughs> those are the best because they're exhilarating. <laughs> they were so dramatic and fun. <laughs> yeah, like what's more enjoyable than getting in a good fight with someone? <laughs> right yeah yeah tell me all about your trauma complain yeah. let's complain isn't that love isn't that love yeah <laughs> it's like this is how this is how i love you <laughs> okay and what's the third one um i think it's just uh that you know the the first thing i think it was one of the first things you ever told me was start just asking questions asking myself questions asking just yeah asking questions what has that done for you like what um what has that done for your growth asking yourself questions well i mean it's taught me more about myself um and it's it's let it's allowed me to i hope i can say this the way i want to say this it's allowed me to choose how i feel about things and how i believe things like the things that I believe okay that was the, the biggest thing for me and I remember one of your OSAD calls your one sale a day calls on a Monday and I was actually in the car with my 16 year old daughter and we were driving to the orthodontist or something I can't remember where we were going and mm -hmm. I had your zoom call on just um as we were driving and you were talking about our belief systems and how we can just change them. If it doesn't, it, you know, if you, if you ask yourself, well, why do I believe this? And then you can say, well, I believe this because of this, this, and that. Well, is that something that is working for me? Is that something that I want to continue to believe in? And I have the power to say, no, I don't want to believe that anymore. I would rather believe this. Right. And so you just, that's just what you believe. That's it. And then you said, wow, about 10 times. And we laughed hysterically, but that call was so profound. <laughs> and I watched it again a few times. <laughs> so that was, you're big into the repetition, the repetition you've, you've uncovered the trick. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's that repetition, man. I'm telling you, that is the key. That's the key. If you say something over and over and over again, it just becomes real. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I think about it. I'm telling you, like those, that's it's like wow. Should I just say wow, wow. 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 I know. I say wow we. Wow. Wow. -wee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, that was so that was such a moment for me where I was just like, wow, I have I have this incredible power over my own life. And I'm so mm -hmm. glad my 16-year-old was sitting beside me when you said that um that's real freedom and you know what it, you know what it looks like jenna it looks like you you're experiencing freedom freedom and it's 
that is so great to that I didn't put that together because I have always said one of my core values is freedom. That mm. feeling of not being free in bo body or mind is is this the thing that I always feared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the we share in one sale day about the eight motives and the eighth motive that I share is the freedom of body and mind and most of us, most of us for the large degree, unless you've got, unless, you know, some terrible is happening, or if you've got a disability or something, most of us do a freedom of body. Most of us really do in this world. Um, some of us don't, you know, some of us don't have that. And um, like a Stephen Hawkins would be an example of a person that did not have freedom of body, um, right. but he did have freedom of mind. And um, you'll find that even in the first, in a first world country, um, freedom of freedom of mind is actually very rare. Yeah. And it really appears uh, to me that you have actually discovered um, the real, true wealth of life, which is freedom of mind. Freedom of mind. It's yeah. the most beautiful thing because once you're free, now you can begin to just move through this whole magnificent thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It feels... It feels like um, very elevated, you know, just being able to see everything from above, like just, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. So every day can become a joy is what you're telling us. Every day is a joy. Yes. Man, that's quite the little a, journey to get to one. I haven't had a day. bad day in months. What was that? <laughs> I said, so you're telling us, so to get one sale day, you need to discover the serenity in your own consciousness. You need to be a few, <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Serenity and ease. Which and is super easy. At ease. And you can, the second one is you can affirm anything. You, you, it's the repetition, it's that habit, the habitual ability to habitually be affirming. Yes. In whatever medium. And then the third, yeah. um, the third one you shared is the, um, tell us the third one again. What's the third? Uh, it was the question, questioning your own beliefs right. and creating, creating what you creating your own beliefs. Right. So the third yeah. is that you have the power to question and then just knock beliefs out. Like it doesn't take a million yeah. years to change a belief. It takes a second. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need something external to tell me that I can change my belief. I just can do it. So I want to talk about money quickly and, yeah. um, so how much money were you earning on average a month um, before one sale a day? Probably somewhere between like 5,000 a month would be a really good month. It was usually around like four, maybe. Okay. So you're around 35 to five and around there, four to five. Yeah, somewhere around there. And, yeah. around, and that, that like was your... Just, just enough. <laughs> <laughs> just enough to complain Not about. Not even. Not just enough. enough. Just enough just to complain Oh, you can always complain about it, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And tell us what, when you had your, when you hit your official one sale a day, how much did you yeah. earn in that week? Cause one sale a day is to make a sale every day and is to consistently hold it for the duration of a week, which is five. That's sales right. yeah. Five days. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my total, uh, you know, total um, sale amount was about 9,500. In the week. In the week. Right. Yeah. And what's, yeah. what's happened to your income? Like what, what's your average in the last, you know, two, three months? What do you say you're bringing in monthly in the last two, three months? Uh, it's consistently been 10. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You went from, yeah, it went from four ish to 10. To 10. And then, then you hit like almost 10 in one week. Yeah. And you're not stopping there, are you? No, no, no. 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 It's a habit. Yes. Yeah, you, I'm in the habit now of making a sale a day. Yeah, you're in the habit of closing sales. You're in the habit of serving. You've, you've had a lot of new habits. Yes. So let's get nuts for a second. So are you telling me that earning money is a habit? It is a habit. And habits are hard to break. Yes. Or they used to be. Or they used to be. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's a habit. It's a habit, isn't it? 
and it's kind of one I didn't really believe at first. Like when you were saying like earning money is a habit, making sales is a habit. And I was like, oh, I don't know, Dave, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I first saw it for the first time in my life, um, when I worked with this gentleman and he was making sales every single day. And I thought, what the heck? Something always happened. Something always happened to make it happen for him. Mm -hmm. I thought, what the heck's going on here? Right. And um, I, I started listening to that guy and observing him and my life changed. Yeah. It's amazing. It's not about working harder because I was already working hard, too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well you need something like, to complain was, about yeah right I, uh, <laughs> all I do is work <laughs> <laughs> it's like mom it's like are you gonna spend time with I'm working don't you know I'm working in here <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to pay the rent you think I'm doing this for me <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Jen was like that but some people are <laughs> um, from time to time but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, uh, I'm not working harder. I'm not working harder. You're not working harder. No, no. Um, if you were to sum it up in one little sentence for people to <laughs> help them know, like, if you were to culminate all in one little sense, what would you say? What would, what would be something you'd want to share? Um, to my other, to my fellow one sale a or yeah, to, and, yeah, yeah. To anybody that's listening. Anybody? Um, I mean, I think, I think really what it comes down to is that you have to, you have to believe that you have the power to make those changes in your life. And it just takes, it takes a little bit of time and it takes persistence. And that was something I didn't really think I was capable of was persisting through something that would be quite challenging, but for me, yeah, it was like, just don't, don't stop. You know, if you start to feel that, that um, kind of negative feeling or feeling like, you know, this is all, this is not working or I shouldn't be doing this or whatever, all of these things I was telling myself in the process, just push through because then you get to the other side of it and um, you realize that you can, you can earn money, you can help people and you can do it with ease. I love it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Jen, I want to thank you for coming on. Your story is inspiring. I think it's going to inspire a lot of people. I'm telling you, and we're going to, we're going to have it out in the world and it's going to hit people. You don't even know how it comes at people. I've had the weirdest thing. Someone messages me. I do a call two years later. Someone messaged me, Hey, I watched that call. You know, um, it's been an absolute honor mentoring you. Thanks Dave. It's been great. Um, like I said, pump your tires willing and persistence and that persistence habit it's essential it's it's the make or break deal and you have it in spades um and she does always ask for help too she does reach out whether it's to me to the group she gets involved um she's yeah. other masterminds running she's got darcy and i know they're running and uh you want to talk about a woman that has made her life around service uh you are looking at one so congratulations and i look forward to seeing you begin to go over the forty thousand a month mark it's coming up. I love it's it. It's coming up fast. Have Thanks. a great day. You too. Thanks, Jen. Bye. Bye-bye.